Today, we are winding down on a new trend this year, short king spring. After years of belittling in the dating scene, men under a certain height are now rising up, you know, as much as they can. The movement calls for them to be more confident in life, but especially when approaching romantic interests since being tall is considered an attractive trait by many, which I find superficial, quite frankly. I wanted to get a different perspective on this, so I brought in Sean Savoy to discuss. How do you feel about Short King Spring? I guess it's like a takeoff of Hot Girl Summer, Short King Spring. Well, um, I mean, I'm kind of all for it. I'm 6'2", but my girlfriend is 7'2". And she uh, carries me on her back like Yoda, and we walk around, and she's like, you know, always reaching for stuff that I can't get to, and I'm, I'm all for it, you know? I have a uh, Since a <laughs> when, since when do short men lack confidence? Has that been an issue? Has that's that never, been an issue? Yeah, yeah, that's never been an issue. The, I mean, like, the short guys have been the fight starters for years. I mean, so, like, really? All people are, we're sitting back and standing and watching them. You know, like we've never like been like, oh, you know, like these short guys don't have any confidence. You know, like they have more confidence than the rest. Like, hey, come over here. You know, oh, hey, I'm, I'm short. I'm a little bit smaller. You know what's going on? Hey, what's up? You know? Short King Spring. Nice try. You mean like every yeah. season, every year that you decide yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make it about you? Yeah. It's glamorous now. It's a special thing. Like uh, it's always been happening. I love that they call it short king spring because I feel like most of our kings historically have probably been short because those are the people that yeah, want to yeah, take yeah, over yeah, yeah, whole and swaths also, of land. Spring? Does it end in spring or is this like when they're all the short guys are supposed to come out like, you know, from hibernating all winter like, oh, here we come now. We're coming now to take all your tall girls. You know what? Short, that's here. actually that's short a good question. Here. Maybe the rest of society, we should just say, you know what, short kings, y'all got it. This is short yeah. king spring. And the second it turns into summer, you know what? I'm sorry to be the one to inform you. It's over. It's over. Exactly. I'm sorry. You decided you wanted to have yeah. this spring. Now it's <laughs> now it's a wrap. Now it's a wrap. It's uh, now time for the super tall summer. Now, who wears the crown as the current king of the short kings? Now, Kevin Hart had to give it up after Jumanji came out, so it can't be Kevin Hart. But who who do you think is the king of the short kings? I think the king of it has always been Tom Cruise. You know, Tom Cruise has always been the uh, I think he's always been the short king. I remember going to auditions and just trying to do everything possible to make sure I appealed uh, as much as possible for the role. They change the way they shoot the movie so they can not highlight how short Tom Cruise is, okay? Yeah. That's the level of power. No, I, you change. You work yeah. around me yeah. to make <laughs> me look regular size. I, no, I will not get the role because I'm too tall and I have to be next to Tom Cruise. That's how it works. That I, I, I think he is a an appropriate king. Yeah, exactly. He's an appropriate king. And I think the, probably the next short king, I guess, would be uh, Tom Holland. He's the, you know, the one on the rise because, you know, him and Zendaya. I tell you this, Tom Cruise is so powerful, he jumped on the couch. And we as a society made it about, he's so crazy, he jumped on the couch. Not about the fact that he could jump on a whole couch and still keep him in frame. He didn't even leave frame. You saw his whole body as he elevated up the couch. That is impressive. If you want to hear more from Sean, he hosts a live comedy show at Nottingham's Tavern every Saturday at 10.30 p.m. All right, come on.